Cancer. This is your reading, a bonus reading for around October. Starts around October 17th, you know, mid-October. Bonus reading, a love partnership bonus reading from you and your future partner, past partner, or current partner. Is what you're bringing it together, what's a foundation, what they may be hiding from you, what's going to make the relationship work, and if it's even worth it for you. So this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising. Like I said, hopefully new energies and positive energies. Like I said, this is your partnership or your lover right here. We'll clarify them too. This is you. The present situation or how you connect. The foundation. What they're hiding from you which strengthens or weakens the relationship or what you bring to the table sometimes. And is it viable or is it worth it for you? Okay. We'll clarify it with the 8th house tarot for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. New energies, positive energies, hopefully, when it comes to relationships, but we always got to give out what it says, you know. Truthful, honest reading straight up for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising starting October 17th, well, mid-October for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Give two each for clarification for Cancer. And they will not resonate with every Cancer, but for those looking for a relationship, it may very well, you know, relate. So let's see what's going on. And these are new cards for me. These are and they're, um, I'm getting used to them, so bear with me. The more I use them, the more stronger they become. Your partner, future partner. And realize some of these energies can flip where this could be you and this be your partner. It does that. I don't know why, but it does do that in, in um, readings. I don't know if you ever had a partnership reading and you said, well, that sounds like them. I, I didn't do that. They did that. You know, I believe you. So here... Okay, these are a little bit flipped. I did not, I do not read these cards in reversal. It's just the way I shuffled them. Libra, they are balanced. They could be also a Libra, very balanced, very fair person. Okay, two of air. They put up their swords. They put up uh, boundaries for some reason. They're trying to keep balance. So maybe that's why they put up their swords. They don't have to deal with situations. The four of water. They, they don't always like what is offered, and you may not like what is you they offer you because they put up their swords. They, they kind of hide what they're feeling sometimes. That could be it also. That is your partner. Or, you know, like I said, it could flip. Um, lunar eclipse. There's a change coming. I got this for somebody else. What is it? Gemini or something? Anyway. Lunar eclipse is a big change coming for you and a lot of other people, okay? So that you are going to experience these changes, okay, Cancer? The next lunar eclipse, you're going to have a major change in your situation. King of fire, fire, fire. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign or someone very passionate, a little bit older and passionate, very um, giving a lot of times. I see, when I see a fire sign, especially, you know, the way it is here, um, they're very... Um, upbeat a lot of times so if you haven't met this person if you, you know you haven't met someone upbeat yet you will be okay night of earth earth air so it could be that there's a big change in relationships with you with you and another um type person maybe there's going to be someone else coming in also that is going to change up the situation for you when it comes to relationships. You may have more than one choice coming in in partnerships, okay? What connects you or the present situation? Fifth house, your lovers. You are lovers with this person. But um, you feel like maybe they don't have enough money or a lot of money or finances. Or maybe there's not enough stability there with the five of earth. And you feel like maybe someone uh, betrayed another person, okay? With a lover situation. The foundation kind of, you know, would hold you together. The, the glue that sticks it together. The Pisces, I believe. It's about, you know, faith and, um, what is that? Positive thinking. Positive uh, 
forward thinking is to believing that you could work it out. Maybe that you feel this way. Maybe they feel this way. Um, it also could be that maybe your um, spirituality keeps you going. Three of water. That could be the foundation and glue that holds you together. I do. This is Mercury and Cancer. I think this is your energy. I think you're going to have more than one option very soon. It's up to you what you choose from. You feel like one of them is going to be put up swords, though. Two of fire, definitely a decision. The foundation, I shouldn't say the glue that keeps it together. I should be over here. But um, the two of fire, you got to make a decision where you want to stay with something, some certain person or go with somebody else. Or, you know, you may have not met either person yet. And you may have those options coming up really soon, Cancer. Which strengthens and weakens these relationships or um, what you want them to know. You want to know if they're a soulmate, which one is going to be your soulmate, okay? Ace of Earth, you're looking, you want a new stable beginning. You want someone who is 100% stable and able to um, bring um, stability to the table all the way around. That's the page of Earth and communicate well with you. That's what's going to strengthen. That's what, whoever you're going to choose, you want this from them, okay? What this person is hiding you or what they are hiding from you, or at least one of them, that you're wondering about ugh, if they have other people themselves or if they're for you, I should say, if they bring you a blessing. They also may think, you know, that of you, could they do this with you? Seven of fires, so you may a little, be a little defensive. They may have a short temper. They, you know, they also may need to get on top of things, but they usually don't. But I do see this, someone that's defensive, queen of air. Remember, these could be male or female. This person can have a lot of air or water in their chart. But um, what they're hiding from you, they may be very defensive, very much. And um, you may, there may be, you know, they're wanting blessings with you. They're wanting this. They don't know if they're themselves. They themselves are for you. Um, they also may be thinking that maybe you're a little defensive. Maybe they're afraid that they're a little, you know, you know, stuffy in some way. But I do feel like. They want to be with you. I think they think you're a blessing, but they also get very defensive and they don't want you to see how, um, like I said, um, Mars type energy, you know, where they're kind of like pushy, you know, so they may not, you may not see this in them as of yet is what I'm trying to say. I know I'm going on and on. Is it worth it? Is it going to work out? Is, or do you want it to work out? That's what I'm going to tell you with whatever. This is, yeah, you're definitely going to deal with a soulmate. One of them will be a soulmate. They may have a lot of water and air in their chart. Or they'll be like between ages of 25 and 45. Um, very giving person, okay? Um, give to each other. This They want to get, they're going to be coming into your life and they're going to give you a positive type situation. They will be your lover. So they could have a lot of water and air, the person you're going to be choosing. And I know I've been saying it, but we're dealing with a lot of cancers here. This also could be you, a water with an air sign or air energy. But I do feel like you're going to be choosing that soulmate. You're going to, that's what's going to bring you together. That's what's going to strengthen the relationship. You're going to choose the person that is um, meant for you. The one that you feel like you've known all your life. If you haven't met this person, you will feel this way. If it's the current one, you're dealing with it and you're wondering, it's the one you feel is a soulmate type energy with you. Okay. And you're going to be a lover's. There's a lover's card there. It's a very given relationship. Yes, it is worth it. And I do uh, shuffle these in front of you just so you see that I'm not hand, you know, picking them ahead of time. Or you see me shuffle and then I grab over here. No, I put it in front of you, right? So this is your energy. It's a great energy to have. It's up to you whether you want this. You're going to have a big change in relationships, though. You're going to have a big change. Maybe you're going to be putting away one person, like I said, going for another. Or putting away negativity and going positively forward. This person needs to communicate with you and tell you what um, their fears are. Maybe they need to be more pushy. That could be it too. Or put themselves forward and take a stand and let you know what's going on. I do feel like they're a soulmate. I really do. But um, what's going on here, and I need the present situation, if someone feels like someone betrayed them in some way, that's why I think there's one person has another option. And I feel, for a lot of you, you know, Cancer, it's you, you have more than one option coming up. And so one will feel, the one that you won't choose may feel betrayed, you know. So, you know, they're going to feel like um, they really lost out with you. 
they're really going to feel, you know, it's definitely a lover situation. But like I said, you you have a lot of options here. And with the partner here, you may not be, you may not like what one of them has to offer you. You know, that's what I'm saying. And you're looking for that soulmate, which I do believe you end up with. You end up with your soulmate, you know. And that's what you're looking for. I don't think you're hurting anybody. But I do feel like someone else is coming up. There's a big change for you coming up in relationships. And I do feel like you're going to end up being with someone you want to be with, you know. But this is your energy. I'm going to upload it soon. Talk to you later. Bye.